Thursday's polls to choose a new South Korean president at this politically sensitive time. This is an anti-US anthem being sung at a campaign rally by one candidate. He was not expected to do well at the vote on Thursday, but the incident is symptomatic of a wave of anti-US feeling. Then there's increased security concerns in the region after neighboring North Korea admitted it was developing nuclear weapons in violation of an earlier agreement. The main candidates in the race for the presidency have strikingly different positions on how to deal with the North and Washington. Front-runner No Mu Hyun, the pro-government Millennium Democratic Party, pledges engagement with the North. The former human rights lawyer is also anti-American, and is going to call of the U.S. military. He denies riding on the wave of anti-U.S. feeling, but there's no doubt hatred towards the U.S. has reversed No's fortunes. Negative feeling towards the U.S. became a passionate mass movement when two American soldiers were cleared by a military courts martial of killing two young South Korean women in a traffic accident. May's rival Lee Hoi Chang had been in the lead in the polls until the recent protests. It's close to Washington and favors cutting aid to the North unless it abandons its pursuit of weapons. He's recently softened his approach, saying he will meet the North Korean President Kim Jong-il. The presidential race will be close, and its outcome is set to decide the future of U.S.-Korea's relations at a crucial time.